Hello, I am Ben Wild. I am a traditional boat builder. I live and work in rural Argyle and on this glorious sunny day I thought I would give you guys uh, a bit of a tour of my workshop um, and then we are going to play with some steam. I'm going to try steam bending some timber to make a hoop. I'll give you a little look around. This big guy is an 18 foot wooden sailing boat that I've been restoring over the last couple of months. The boat is nearly 100 years old, it's been owned by the same family for three generations. So it's what's called a clinker built boat, so the planks overlap each other, you can see the ridges there. The ribs are in there which are all steam bent in and copper riveted. And I've spent the last couple of weeks laying this nice new vertical grain Douglas fir deck, which is very bonny. Um, and we come up here, this is my main working space most of the time. It's a nice long workbench with loads of light coming in. There is uh, one of my standard rowing boats. I build this a lot on my courses. Tool tray with all my chisels and everything in it, usually some sawdust. Neat pile of timber up here. And as I see, it's a very narrow loch. So this is what we're going to try and bend. Um, I've got like a quarter inch thick strip of oak here. Um, you can see it's kind of bendy but it's not that bendy. It's certainly not going to bend all the way around that without snapping. Um, down here I've got a kind of circular former with a cutout in it. Uh, and the cutout allows you to put the end in somewhere. Uh, and then a ratchet strap which is just a nice way of clamping around a circle basically. Um, and so the idea is things come out the box nice and hot. And then as quickly as you can, you get them wrapped around the form and held in place. Um, the piece of oak has been in the steam box for about 15 minutes because it's about an inch, about a quarter of an inch thick. So it goes in for about an hour for an inch of every thickness is the, the rule of thumb. So here's the steam box setup. This is a wallpaper stripper into a box, but it works surprisingly well. Um, the crucial thing is just putting in a lot of steam into a place. People always think there's some sort of magic process to it. But really, anything that contains heat will work. The timing's kind of critical, but not super bad. What's more critical is getting it out of the box quickly. Um, as it comes out, it's cooling, and as soon as it gets cold, it won't bend anymore. So you've got to move fairly quickly. So I've now popped this steam bend thing off the jig, uh, left it overnight to cool so it was nice and cold. Um, last thing I want to do is hold this together so I'm going to stick a couple of copper rivets in it. I've got a bunch on here, so copper rivets. We've got a nail and a rove which is like a little copper washer. So first thing we're going to do is drill a hole. And then I'm going to take a nail and just knock the nail through until it's just coming through and then grab a little a rove as they're called and this tool is called a dolly so it just holds the rove on on the underside and then just keep hammering It'll send the nail all the way through and then with some end cutters you're going to cut off most of the excess nail to leave it nice and flush. And then what I'm doing there is using the dolly hammering on the un on the rove side to bend over that cut off bit of nail. And that's holding it together. Cracking. So I got into boat building kind of on a whim. I worked for seven years for a place called the Galgale Trust in Glasgow. Works with long-term unemployed people to teach them a range of crafts, including traditional boat building. 
Um, my interest has always been in connecting people and working with people rather than just commercial book building. But the crafts are very interesting and I really enjoy that sense of like giving crafts to people. So I run, now run a social enterprise called Archipelago Folk School and we teach book building to people all around the country. We build boats quickly, we build boats accessibly, we try and make it open and available to everybody. Boat building being a traditional craft hasn't really changed in a thousand years ish. We still nail bits of wood together with copper. I'm not really interested in boat building as like a, a heritage craft preserved in aspic. It's interesting to me as a very active, living piece of culture. There's a lot of subtlety to it in the seeing a nice line and making the boat look right, but also you've got to make sure it's structurally sound and balancing those factors. But it is really good fun and it's really rewarding and in that sense of having done something right when you put a boat on the water and it floats, it's a really powerful experience. It still hasn't worn off, it's still a remarkable feeling to launch a boat.